Ripple XRP holders be prepared, finish line is coming. U.S. Representative Brad Sherman recently advised the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, to go after crypto exchanges that supported Ripple's XRP token. However, in a recent interaction with Fox Business journalist, Eleanor Tourette Sherman made another claim against the token. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has been sharply criticized by digital asset industry leaders over its regulatory policy. Now the lawyer has reported that SEC Chairman Gary Gensler refused to meet with cryptocurrency companies last year. John Deaton, the founder of Crypto Law and a lawyer for XRP holders, said that Gary Gensler refused to meet with the holders of 69,000 XRP. However, he also said that the SEC chairman had not even met with Congress. Instead of meeting with key players, Gensler meets about seven times with a firm that controls 90% of his money. In a Twitter thread, Deaton said that the current state of the SEC chairman is estimated at more than $100 million. He added that the commission is not concerned about the manifestations of its illegality. According to the Cryptography Act, Gensler's disclosure records from 2020 to 2021 showed that most of his money was invested in funds managed by the Vanguard Group. Annabelle Lee LLC and the Family Trust are two of its key structures. Meanwhile, the public calendar of the head of the SEC does not show any important meetings with any retail crypto companies or even leaders of blockchain associations. While he was meeting with his asset managers, Gensler's files show that Gensler did not even respond to the letter from the U.S. representative. Moreover, he skipped an appearance before the Republican Party of Financial Services to answer some critical questions. While he refused to address the crypto leader, SEC enforcement lashed out at retail holders in court. Coinbase is the latest cryptocurrency exchange to come to the attention of the SEC regarding regulatory policy. XRP lawyers stressed that Coinbase has been trying to work in accordance with the commission from the very first day. The platform even excluded XRP tokens from the list and refused to launch Lend. Deaton believes that Coinbase hit the target only because it cooperated with the commission. Gary Gensler, chairman of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, shared a video about the rules protecting the integrity of the market and protecting investors from fraud and manipulation. He stressed that people will gain more trust if the cryptocurrency market meets the standards set by the rules. The head of the commission noted that there is no reason to look at the cryptocurrency market differently just because it is based on technology. Gensler argued that the SEC seeks to provide the same protection for digital asset markets. He stressed the need to take into account the 90-year legacy of security laws. It is necessary to be technologically neutral when it comes to protecting investors. Meanwhile, John Deaton, an attorney for XRP holders, criticizes the SEC chairman for his approach. He mentioned that Gensler does not work with exchanges while convincing them to agree with him that tokens are securities. Deaton said he was doing this so that he could later claim jurisdiction over the asset class by capitulation. Earlier this week, the SEC launched an investigation into Coinbase, the largest U.S. cryptocurrency exchange. The XRP lawyer also suggested that it's time to gather the SEC commissioners before Congress. While he expects that next year, when the House flips, the acting commissioners should be subpoenaed. Earlier, Deaton said that the SEC chairman ignores meetings with cryptocurrency companies and XRP holders. However, Gensler's calendar shows that he was busy meeting with his asset management firm. However, Gensler in the video emphasizes that the SEC is considering the possibility of resolving vital conflicts of interest with crypto platforms. He added that some service providers avoid the rules and place bets against their users. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has tightened its control over Coinbase after the platform increased the number of tokens it offers to trade, said two of the people who asked not to be named because the request was not made public. The investigation conducted by the SEC law enforcement agency preceded the agency's investigation of an alleged insider trading scheme, 
as a result of which the regulator last week sued a former Coinbase manager and two other people. We are confident that our rigorous due diligence process, a process that the SEC has already verified, prevents securities from entering our platform, and we look forward to engaging with the SEC on this matter, General Counsel Paul Greville said on Twitter. The SEC declined to comment. The drumbeat in Washington for you, S. Regulators to do more to oversee cryptocurrency has grown louder as digital currencies have fallen from record highs, erasing hundreds of billions of dollars in market value. SEC Chairman Gary Gensler focused on trading platforms and said they should do more to protect retail investors. As the largest U.S. trading platform, Coinbase allows Americans to trade more than 150 tokens. If these products were considered securities, the firm might have to register as an exchange with the SEC. Coinbase shares fell $14, 14 to $52, 93 in New York, bringing the stock down 79% this year. Coinbase has repeatedly argued with the agency about how it oversees the industry, and last week the firm called on the SEC to propose clearer rules. Meanwhile, after several years of a relatively cautious approach, Coinbase has increased the number of its tokens. Tensions escalated further on July 21, when the SEC accused one of the company's former employees of violating insider trading rules by leaking information to help his brother and friend buy tokens just before they were listed on the platform. Although the agency did not claim wrongdoing by Coinbase, the SEC said it had established that nine of the dozens of digital tokens the men traded were securities, including seven that the exchange said were listed. Manhattan federal prosecutors have also charged the three men with conspiracy to use electronic communications and fraud using electronic communications. In response, Coinbase published an entry on its blog under the heading, Coinbase does not place securities. The end of the story. Greville noted that the Justice Department chose not to press charges of securities fraud, despite having considered the same facts as the SEC. He also said that before listing tokens, Coinbase analyzes whether an asset can be considered a security, and also considers ASP a big victory for XRP holders was the decision of Judge Annalisa Torres, who rejected a request from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, to revoke a MICAI status from future proceedings. Lawyer James Phelan, who shared this important event on Twitter, mentioned that now John Deaton, who advocated for XRP holders, can stay in the case. He added that Amikai cannot participate in the expert competition yet. However, he may apply for a brief discussion with an expert of the commission in a simplified trial. According to the court's ruling, on October 4, 2021, Mavantum was allowed to act as an Amikai curiae. It also gave them permission to hold a briefing on legal issues relevant to the case. He struck the current price of XRP for today you can see yourself on the screens, and the trading volume for 24 hours is 1,294,436,065 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 4.08% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end, if you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.